So are you somebody that wants to start an online business or wants to start making money online because you're fed up working for your job and your boss or you just want to take life into your own control and live at home whilst making money then that's completely fine because in today's video I'm going to show you how you can turn absolutely nothing, start with no money and then eventually start making money. So what I'm trying to say guys is I'm going to be showing you a strategy that I used back in 2015 when I started online businesses and started making money online and I actually started with absolutely nothing and then I turned it into making money and I use this exact strategy that I'm going to share with you today. Now, number one, it's not illegal. Number two, this is not a clickbait video. I'm actually going to show it you live step by step on my laptop. I've also created a free uh, cheat sheet on Google Docs that will actually highlight every single step, helping you through the process so you can get this done because actually with this whole strategy, you can turn having absolutely no money into a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars within just one month as long as you do it day in day out and you hustle and because the reason why i know this is because back in 2015 i did this exact strategy and this is what helped me grow cash flow for my first ever online business and like i said if you're just skeptical and you don't want to invest your own money into it then use this strategy to make money then reinvest the profits which i'll be talking about a little later on or if you're somebody that just doesn't have a lot of money or no money then this is going to be an absolute golden viable video because i've never seen anybody else on youtube share this strategy strategy the way I'm going to be sharing it today. Now, if you want that free Google Doc sheet that I'll be highlighting in the whole video today, let's hit 2000 likes and I will put it in the comment section and in the description. Now, I'm just going to give you an overview of how this strategy works. So you know, this is not clickbait or this is not illegal. You're going to be doing what we call buying and reselling, which is what I did back in 2015. And I have done it now for many, many years. I don't currently do it as much anymore. I do it as like a little side hobby now and again. And I explain that at the end of the video. But when I started back in 2015, 15 this was my full-time way of making money now I actually currently teach people how to do um, buying and reselling in high-end stores and stuff like that so I'm very very qualified in this industry but what you're probably thinking can but if I'm doing buying and reselling how am I going to buy things if I've got no money because you're going to buy things for free because people actually sell things online for free because they just want to get rid of it and they haven't got space for it anymore then you're going to take that free stuff you're going to be getting off people and then you're going to flip it for actual money now obviously you're not going to make crazy money but you're going to make small profits then small profits then small profits then you'll start reinvesting that money into actually paying for things that have higher margins in terms of money so you might uh, get something for free that's worth 20 30 dollars then you reinvest that profit into more expensive and more expensive then you get to a point where you can start buying and reselling Apple products and that's what I did eventually after around about six months of doing this and that's where I made loads of money so guys I'm going to go over this whole strategy in depth I just thought I'd give you a quick overview so you know exactly what this strategy is and what it entails and you know one it's not illegal and two it is not clickbait so guys if you're looking forward to the video then get some snacks and watch this whole video because trust me if you're somebody that's skeptical about online or you just don't have money to start an online business and this is a great way to fund an online business, something like drop shipping or e-commerce selling products, then please watch this video because trust me when I say this, this can change your life. Now let's get straight into the video guys. And if we get 5,000 likes on this video, I will actually do this whole strategy live as a challenge and I'll do it day in, day out because this is a 30 day process guys. So do bear that in mind. So let me get straight into it. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. So guys, you can see my computer screen right now and you can see I'm on that Google Doc sheet, the cheat sheet that I was talking about in the intro of the video. So make sure we hit 2000 likes so you guys can access this cheat sheet so you can speed through the process and make your first thousand dollars online with starting with absolutely no money. So let's talk about the requirements you're gonna need because you are gonna need some requirements for this business model, but don't worry, it's completely free. The first requirement you're gonna need is a smartphone. So make sure that you haven't got one of those old Nokia brick phones, they're not gonna work. You're gonna need a smartphone, something that can access Wi-Fi and something that can go onto the internet and download apps. So make sure you got one of those. The next thing you're gonna need is Wi-Fi. Um, so you're gonna need Wi-Fi. You don't need anything crazy like 300 download speed Wi-Fi, anything that can connect and can get on get you onto the internet and upload photos that is fine so the next thing is some people might not have wi-fi because they're in a very very bad situation in terms of finances so the best thing you can do is you can go to starbucks because they have some amazing wi-fi and 
use their free Wi-Fi. Now you're probably thinking, Cam, why have you even suggested that? I've actually taught this strategy before to somebody that had no Wi-Fi in their house um, because they couldn't afford Wi-Fi and they actually went to a Starbucks, like I just said, and went on the Wi-Fi there to do this. So that just shows you there's no excuse you can make to actually make this work for you because I've taught somebody this strategy that had no Wi-Fi at their house. So I just wanted to say that, that, that and get that out of the way to kind of motivate you guys to know that this can work if you put the work in. The next thing is you need to be able to access the app market, whether it be the Google app or the Apple um, app store, either one is fine, but just make sure you can access that because you are going to need some apps to um, kind of enhance something later on, which will make sense. The next thing you're going to need is good lighting. Now you don't need to be like me and get this, get these expensive lighting like bulbs here that that's lighting my face up. You can use daylight. So as long as you've got like a decently sized window in your, in your house or wherever you're living, then that will be completely fine. All you need is good direct directional lighting and that is pretty much it and this again will all make sense later on the next thing you're going to need is either a bike a car a friend and time so let me explain these ones in a little bit more um, detail so the first thing is you're going to might you might need a car now with this buying and reselling strategy sometimes you might pick up big items for completely think completely free and i've got an example in today's video something like a sofa so there's people that will sell sofas for completely free and they're worth a couple of hundred dollars because they just want to get rid of them because i've got new furniture so if you want to get hold of that high ticket item that you could potentially sell for 200 300 dollars and you got it for free then you're going to need a car to kind of um transit that around so those big higher ticket items that can make you a lot of money for completely free you are going to need either a car um now if you haven't personally got a car i'm sure you may know a friend or somebody that does own a car and then you can say look if you give me the journey then i'll give you maybe twenty dollars for helping me out so obviously that is a way around it and that's something that i always get my partner to do or my brother to do for me and i always give him money um, for helping me out the next thing is you might need a bike so if you because obviously there's going to be people selling things for free that might be 10 miles away from you so you can either walk all that way and again i know people that have done that or you can obviously get onto a bike a city bike and just go down and collect it the next thing is um, you're going to need a lot of time so this this strategy doesn't involve any money but you are gonna need a lot of time because when people are selling things for free online and um, more specifically Facebook marketplace which I'll be showing you today um, normally it's first come first serve so if you're not on the ball quick enough then you might message that person and they might have said look I've already sold it so you need a lot of time for this strategy to be as good as possible so guys there are all the requirements you're gonna need now let me move on to the next step which is setting up your Facebook page um, your Facebook personal account so you can actually go on Facebook Facebook marketplace and get these absolutely amazing free products for completely free and make a dime with it so because again like I said you're going to use Facebook marketplace to start with with this strategy and you're going to need to make sure that your Facebook profile is set up because if it isn't set up properly then you're not going to get anybody answering back to your messages and you're not going to get those freebies that you need to make money so guys let me get in straight into that part of the video so guys the next step is setting up your personal profile on Facebook so it's actually going to work when you message people on Facebook Marketplace. Now, let me explain what Facebook Marketplace is. Facebook Marketplace is a place on Facebook now where you can buy and sell things and there's and you don't have to pay Facebook a fee and whatnot. Um, and obviously you use your personal account to engage with people on the marketplace. So if your personal account isn't set up correctly or doesn't look trustworthy or you may look like a threat, then you're not gonna get people that might say, look, I'm okay with you coming around and picking up this thing for free. It could be a sofa, for example. So that's why it's very important that you set up your per personal profile on Facebook so so you look like a real human being and not a scammer or a threat because unfortunately there is a lot of scams going on on Facebook marketplace so that's why I've made this part of the video so you can set up your profile page so you don't look like one of those people and you're not going to get ignored on Facebook marketplace so I've actually got my um, uh, Facebook account on the screen as you can see right now and the first thing is you're going to want to make sure that your profile picture is a picture of you because I know there's a lot of people that don't actually put pictures of themselves on Facebook because they don't want to show who they are but unfortunately with this strategy you're going to need to be very very transparent because again there's a lot of scams and there's a lot of people causing a lot of problems on marketplace so as you can see on the screen there's a picture of me here I'm going to zoom into it and you can see it's a very up-to-date photo now I've got long hair at the moment I never used to have long hair so I had to make sure that people know it looks like me again um, you can see it's a photo of me on my own 
and that's also very important make sure it's a photo of just you and nobody else in the photo so they know it's they know who to identify because sometimes when you go to a profile picture there might be four people in there and the person's thinking which one is out of those four people so make sure it's just you also make sure it's an up-to-date photo of you again like i said i've got long hair now so i've updated mine with long hair and preferably try and make yourself look smart because at the end of the day if you make yourself look smart people might think mm, yeah this guy haven't got a problem with him coming around my house because with the facebook marketplace you might go to the house to pick things up i do it all the time so if people might look at you and think mm, i don't know if i want this person in my house around my family then they're not going to let you go and pick up that item for free so really think about this before you actually approach it and like i said there's going to be things that you might not want to do but you're going to have to do them for this to work as best as possible you're going to also want a cover photo which is this big thing here and you're going to want your cover photo to be a picture of you and your family a picture of you and your girlfriend a boyfriend or just a picture of you on holiday or a picture of you having fun or something just make it look like you're a real human being now you're probably thinking cam why are you even going over this because there's, there's a lot of people out there with facebook accounts where they're not following any of this stuff because they want to be very private but unfortunately with this strategy you need to be very very transparent the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you fill out your bio now my, everything on my account is really more for my uh, mentorship business so you can see here i put a quote here but you can put something in your bio like um I'm 21. I live in I live in the United States. I live in this state. My hobbies are this, that, this, that. Because the more transparent you are with people, the more people will think you're a real human being and you're not a threat to them. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put here, which is basically what you are doing as 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 a person. So you can see here, I put what I do for a living. You can see what I used to do as a living. Um, I put where I went to school. I put where I live. I put when I joined Facebook. I've also put my social media accounts. So basically, what I'm trying to say is you're going to want to fill that section out as much as you can. And again, you might not want to, but the more people can relate to you. Because what I'm trying to say here, guys, is the reason you want to be very transparent is because everybody on Marketplace that you're going to be speaking to will be in the the same state as you the same city as you the same town as you so the more you've got about you as a person the more they can see and believe the more people that are going to speak to you on facebook marketplace the more people that are going to say yeah i'm okay with you coming around my house i'm okay with you uh meeting me up to go and pick this up at a, at a meetup destination so that's what i'm trying to say the next thing is just make sure that your timeline isn't got anything stupid on it like ra racist abuse or discrimination um maybe you've not put it specifically but you've shared a post that discriminates against people keep your page at completely neutral because if you, somebody from facebook marketplace is selling you a sofa for free which i'll which i'll show you now um later on in the video and you've got a and that person might be um let's say a homosexual and i've got a post on my page going against homosexuals they might think mm, i'm not selling this person my my sofa now that they're actually discriminating against me so that's why i'm saying just keep yourself neutral don't say anything bad because trust me it'll ruin your chance of getting things for free so make sure your timeline is clean and it hasn't got anything like that also you're going to want to make sure that you've got at least 10 photos um, on your facebook profile five to ten photos because at the end of the day it makes you look a lot more trustworthy um now you're going to also want to add your social media links now the one that i recommend the most for adding is linkedin make sure you add linkedin to your social medias you can see here you can see i've added my youtube channel my instagram but you're going to want to add your linkedin because linkedin is a very professional place you probably already got linkedin but what it does is it lets people see you as a professional that way they can trust you more because you got to remember guys and i can't emphasize this enough you're going to be going around people's houses around your local area so if they don't trust you because they think you're, you're a threat or you might rob their house then they're not going to let you go and pick that st stuff up for free so that's why i'm emphasizing make yourself look professional make yourself look like something where you've got things going for yourself because if you don't people won't let you in the door to go and collect that free stuff so guys can't emphasize that enough but that's how you set up your facebook profile now let's get into the best part which is actually finding these freebies and where you can make money for absolutely nothing so guys you can see i'm on facebook marketplace on the screen and this is basically how it looks like on a laptop it looks like this on a phone but a little bit smaller of course but basically this is how it's going to look and on the left hand side you've got your browse group shops buying selling saved items so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the browse icon and then it says location and then it says within kilometers so my location's where my local area is so you're going to want to put your local area your state your town whatever um, and then you can change within 20 kilometers so i actually change this to within 40 kilometers 
um, because I'm willing to drive if I need to. If I can see an absolute bargain, which I'll show you a little bit later, then I'm willing to drive all that way because in petrol money, I will still make a fortune even if I pay for petrol. So I change it to within 40 kilometers. And then what you want to do is you want to go to where it says search for marketplace so that's exactly what you want to do here you want to click search marketplace and then you want to use these keywords and i'll put them on the sh you should see the google doc sheet somewhere as well the free cheat sheet that will help you with this as well but you're going to want to put keywords like this so for example i'm just going to type in free so as soon as you type in free you can see loads of things that are coming up for free now this sofa's coming up for free um this uh I don't even know what this is. This bar store's coming up for free. This office chair's coming up for free. This gym thing's coming up for free. So guys, you can see how much things are coming up for free. It's actually a gold mine, guys. So what I just wanna quickly go over is you're probably thinking, Cam, why are these people selling all this stuff for free? They might be moving house. They wanna get rid of old furniture. They might have new furniture replacing the old furniture. They wanna get rid of it. They can't sell it, so they just wanna get rid of it quickly. Now you, on the other hand, haven't got like a day to try and get rid of something. You may have weeks, months. You can hold that sofa in your house for a month and not worry about it these people want to get rid of it asap now the sofas are one of the best items to um to kind of get hold of because they have so much value to them like that sofa right there that's a corner sofa with a footrest you could easily sell that for a hundred dollars or a hundred pounds and you're going to get it for free so that is an example right there guys so what you'll do is you click on the item and then what you can do is you can click save um which basically means it'll save you it will save the item to all your saved items and that way you can go through them really fast and then also shows you whereabouts they are living um well it doesn't show you their actual location but it shows you their nearest area um area postcode so you get a rough idea where they're living so this person probably lives roughly around about 10 minutes away from me if that and he says free to uh, free to good home must collect today so basically as i just said to you these people want to get rid of these today because they've got no space anymore they're waiting for new furniture to get put in the house and if that doesn't get out of the way then they can't put the new furniture in so this guy's willing to sell the sofa and it comes with two photos let's have a look at the two photos so he's selling two different sofas for completely free as long as it's picked up today now of course with a sofa like that you might need a van or you might need a car now if you if you've got a little bit of money and you're not completely out of pocket with this challenge or with this whole strategy then it might be worth hiring a van for a day which might cost you 20 30 dollars then obviously this could be worth those two sofas put together you could probably sell them for easily 200 so you're making a profit of around about 160 so think of it like that guys now of course if you haven't got a van or you can't afford to hire a van then don't look for sofas maybe look for something else like this office chair you could easily pick that office chair up and just carry it if you're willing to walk around with it and you could easily sell that for five ten dollars so guys they're just examples of what i'm trying to say so you just go through all of these different searches and try and find something like the look of this fridge and freezer right now is completely free guys that's probably worth another 50 to 200 dollars now let me show you another keyword that you can use um to basically get some of these free free listings so guys this is another keyword that you can use which is needs to go today and i've put all the keywords in the cheat sheet so make sure we hit 2000 likes in this video and they'll also be on the screen so you can look at them but needs to go today you can see a few of these are coming up so this mattress here is, is completely free um, and you can probably get around about 20 30 dollars for that so that's a really good find as well now you're probably thinking cam i found loads of free items that i think i could make a good amount of money for now again depending on how much money you can make depends on how much you can get back into your house and that depends on how far some of these items are so let me move on to the next stage which is how to message these people and how to pick this stuff up so you can then sell it yourself so guys let's say for example i want to get this sofa because i feel like this is an absolutely golden valuable freebie i think i could make it easily around about 200 pounds 150 pounds with this item then i would click on the item and then i'd click send a message now it automatically gives you a pre-made message which is is this available i don't recommend using the pre-made message i recommend using the template i put in the um in the cheat sheet which i'll show you right now so guys you'd re you you'd replace that message which is is this available to this one right now which is hello and then you would put the person's name which is the person's name is da -da 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 -da, joe almond so i'd put hello joe almond i can see you're selling this uh sofa for free as long as it's picked up today with no fuss i'm willing to pick this up asap asap 
please send me your address details and the best time to pick this item up i'm a serious buyer and don't want to waste your time i'm really interested in your item so if you want to jump on a call to get things moving fast you can contact me on of course your phone number then you put thank you and then their name which is joe allman so let me explain this template and the reason why it's so powerful guys so straight away you're addressing that person and you, you're basically saying to them, look, I know you're selling this item for free as long as it's picked up today with no fuss now. Of course, when you're picking up things for free, there could be fuss, which is like, oh, can you help me put this sofa in my boot? So for example, people will actually, like you'll go to people's places and some people actually go to people's places and like, oh, can you actually help me move the move your, your, your furniture in my car so I can get rid of it? Some people don't even want to help you out and, and put that furniture in your car for you. So when I say no fuss, I mean, don't worry about you helping me put that furniture in my car. I've got somebody with me to do that you just stay in your house give me the sofa i'll come in your house get the sofa and get get get, get it out of there you're not asking them to help you out with moving the, the moving that out of the out of their house for them you're saying look i'll come get it myself you don't need to help me out all done so that's what they want to hear because at the end of the day nobody wants to help out when when moving things especially when you're giving it away for free because there's no value to it so that really makes them think yes that's what i want then you put i'm willing to pick this up asap which stands for ace um, which stands for as soon as possible now the reason why you want to put that is because people on marketplace literally when i say this they want to get rid of it like that because they've just got no time they need to get rid of it so when you put asap they're thinking that's what i need then you want to put please send me your address details and the best time to pick this item up the reason why you're asking for address details is because again with facebook marketplace it doesn't actually give you a location to where they actually live so then that way they'll give you their postcode or their zip code and their address then you're saying look what's the best time to pick this up because they might actually be out at the moment they might be on a school run they might be out getting shopping so you by saying them to them what's the best time to pick this pick this up is you being polite and saying look i know you're probably busy let me know what time's best and then i can come to that time because at the end of the day they don't want people messing around when they say come at 6 p.m and you don't come until 8 p.m that's not fair so by saying that you just come across as an easy easy person to deal with then you put i'm a serious buyer and don't want to waste your time that way they know that you're not there to mess around and waste the time because facebook marketplace trust me i've been on there for a while it is that kind of place where people want to waste your time um, and they're not ready to do what they need to do now the next thing is i'm really interested in your item so if you want to jump on a call to get things moving fast you can contact me on and then you put your phone number the reason why you're putting that in the script is because a lot of times on Facebook Marketplace, the conversation we're going back to forth, back to forth, and it could take around about a whole day because people might reply to you and then take two hours to reply to you again. So by getting on a phone call, it gets it done on that one phone call, no long conversations, and people would rather do that. And then you put thank you because you want to thank them for their time and then your name, sorry, uh, yeah, your name, sorry, which would be whoever you are. Um, and that way, it's a very, very formal and and um, convenient message for them and they'll really appreciate that because most people on Facebook Marketplace just click the, is this available? So to receive that kind of message, because you never know, with these free items, trust me when I say this, those people will get tens and tens of messages. So for them to see tens of, let's say 13 messages saying, is this available, which is the pre-made um, script that Facebook gives them then for them to see this script they're gonna think wow this person is somebody that i'd rather have come and pick this up because they seem a lot more um they, they seem a lot more interested in getting this process done so that will kind of kill the um competition because trust me it's not as simple as going and getting it because it's going to be very competitive especially when things are for free so by sending that kind of message shows you're going above your means to kind of get this sorted out for them so that's the message script now let me tell you about what to do once you've got the item so guys let's now say you've got the item you've gone and picked it up and and you've got it back at your house now what you need to first off by doing is give the seller a good review so you can actually give sellers a good review then you want to ask them to give you a good buying review so on facebook marketplace you can leave a review on the on on the seller so the seller that sold you the free sofa you can say look they were easy to work with but then the seller can give the buyer which is you a review saying he's easy to work with when it comes to buying that way when you message more people on facebook marketplace it will show your reviews for buying items that way when they again when there's lots of competition trying to go for all those free things when loads of people are trying to buy one one thing for free on facebook marketplace the person that's selling that item might look through everybody's reviews and see okay this guy's got the most reviews in terms of buying things off people i'd rather go with him because i don't want the hassle with having just some random come to my house that hasn't got any reviews so that's the reason why you want to ask for reviews because trust me it will make sure that when you get more freebies people will 
check your reviews out see they're good when it comes to buying things off people and then it makes life so much easier now the next thing is how to prepare your product for selling because obviously now you've bought the product uh, now you need to sell it for yourself so you can make some money on it somebody sold it you for free now you're selling it to somebody else for money so let's talk a little bit about how to prepare your product so you can make the most money with it so the first thing is clean your product so you need to clean your product whatever it may be clean it get some water on it get some baby wipes on it clean it just make sure you clean the product trust me it makes a massive difference the next thing is you need to find any defects faults so you can make an accurate fair listing when you list it on facebook marketplace and other websites that i'll recommend a little bit later on so just make sure that you find out if there's any defects let's say the sofa's got a chunk missing out the back of it you, at least you know that's there so when you sell it for money because now you're selling it for money so when you sell something for money and people are putting their money towards something if they bought something they didn't think that there was a defect with it they're going to get angry they're going to give you bad reviews which means it's going to stop your freebie business from running so make sure that you find all the faults all the defects it might be worth asking the buyer when you buy it for free off them what the defects are because that way you can make a fair listing which means you're going to be a good seller with good selling reviews which means your freebie business can skyrocket and you can get into the higher end buying and selling the next thing is take photos um using your smartphone or camera make sure you have a good natural lighting so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take some photos of the sofa for example let's say i'm buying that sofa i just showed you make sure you take loads of good photos of the sofa you might put it in your garden you might want to put the sofa in your garden and take photos of the sofa in the garden that way you've got all the natural light of it and what you're going to want to do is you're going to take photos of loads of different angles some from the side some from the back some from the front some facing down some showing if there's any defects in the sofa so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you put your name tag next to the product with your full names as stated on facebook so people know this is your product and not somebody else's now you probably might not understand what that means let me just show you an example on the screen of what that looks like and here's an example you can see i was selling a louis Vuitton. again i was in i was in the high-end buying and reselling market and you can see that i put my name on a piece of paper in the photo to show that people when they buy it on facebook that at least they know this is my item and i've not just got the photo off the internet and i'm trying to scam people because there's a lot of scammers that that sell things that not that are not even real so by you putting your name in the photo shows that you really own that product and you've really got that at your house so people know they're not wasting their time and they might come to that place and they might pick something up that they didn't even realize that they were picking up because it wasn't what was shown in their photos so by doing that you're going to increase the chances of people reaching out to you to go and buy that to buy that product from you so for example i've took photos on my sofa i've took one photo of the sofa with my name on it on a piece of paper when people look through my new listing where i'm trying to sell it for let's say 100 pounds they can see it's i've actually got that because it's got my name on a piece of paper as stated on my facebook account so if your name so if my name on facebook is called cam satar i'm gonna put on the, on the piece of paper cam satar so that just basically makes sense that's the kind of reason why you're going to want to do it it's going to help you with selling the product now once you've got your photos you should have between five and ten photos you're going to want to edit the photos using one of these two apps now the reason why you want to edit your photos is to make them look a lot more nicer to make them pop a little bit more to make them look obviously a little bit better than they really are in real life because at the end of the day we all know good looking photos will attract more people now the two apps that you're going to want to use now if you're using an iphone and you're on ios 13 now make sure you're on ios 13 um, if your phone doesn't support ios 13 don't worry i'll give you an alternative if you are if you have got an iphone and you've got ios 13 then just use the photo editor on the iphone the in-app one that one since the ios 13 update is absolutely amazing that photo editing software that apple have put in their in their phones is actually amazing so just use that one that one's completely fine if you're on an android phone or a google phone then you're going to want to use google snapseed that app is the best app for android phones in terms of photo editing now if you're on an ios device that doesn't support ios 13 then you might want to you might want to go on the app store and download the google snap speed um photo editing app and again these are all free apps Not, nothing in this video today is paid because again you're starting a business with no money so they're the apps that you're going to want to use to edit your photos you might want to drop the highlights down on the photo to make the shadows look better you might want to increase the saturations to make the colors pop you might 
want to increase the sharpening to make the, the photo image look a lot better because if you're taking photos on an, on an old phone like an iPhone 6 where the camera is not amazing the image quality might be bad so you might want to increase the sharpening on it but they're the kind of things that you're going to want to do and like I said guys if I hit 5,000 likes on this video I'll actually show you everything today in real life I'll go and buy things for free I'll go and take the photos I'll show you exactly how I would do this back when I did it uh, around about four and a half years ago the first thing is you need to find a price for your product obviously you can't just randomly guess how much you should sell it for so let me show you again how to find the price and structures for your products so let me jump back onto facebook marketplace to show you the strategy i use to find the pricing for my products so guys you can see i'm on facebook marketplace and this is the sofa that i've technically bought just as an example in today's video so what i'm going to want to do is i'm going to want to search for that kind of product in facebook so i'm going to search for brown corner because it's a corner sofa corner sofa so there we go and we're going to want to look to see how much some of these are coming up for so you can see some of these are coming up for 300 pounds 200 pounds 300 pounds 100 pounds 200 pounds so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go through all of these listings and try and find the ones that are most relevant to yours because obviously this one's leather ours isn't leather but this one's quite similar to ours it just hasn't got those nice fancy pillows and um, that one's quite similar to ours it doesn't look as nice as that but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try and find some that are quite relevant to yours that one's quite close to what, what ours looks like that one looks quite close to what ours look like and then what you do is you find out the average price so for example after looking at all that we could probably sell our sofa for roughly around about 100 to 200 pounds from what i've just seen on the marketplace listings for something that's similar to our sofa so now i've gone through the averages i've found some listings that are similar to mine i've come up with a price which is roughly around a bit around about around about 100 to 150 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start high 150 because eventually every 14 days if you don't sell it you'll lower the price so start at the highest you should start sell at and then start lowering it down which i'll explain a little bit later on but again you just go on here you search for the product that you're selling um, and you want to find people that are selling stuff like yours for money and work out the average price so now let me move on to the next steps on how to prepare your product for selling and actually how to get it sold now a massive tip is you should undercut all your competitors by between 30 and 50 percent if you want to get rid of things quick so if you're somebody that doesn't want to hold on to these things for long and you want to get rid of them quick reduce the undercut everybody else by 30 to 50 percent so you might only sell that sofa for 50 pounds or 70 pounds it's still a good amount of money but it's not as much as you could probably make if you held on to it a little bit longer. So guys, now we've got our pricing structure found. We need to start selling the product. So what you do is you go back onto the Facebook marketplace, you click sell something, and then you click on what you're selling item for sale. Then you wanna click the um, catalog, uh, sorry, the categories, which would be obviously furniture for my product because it's a sofa. Then you're gonna wanna put what are you selling? And then you basically put what you're selling. So I'd put in here brown corner sofa, um, um, and then I might put the material it's made out of. Then you're going to want to put the price. I thought I could sell it for 150 pounds. Then you're going to want to put the location that you're in. So I'll put my local town. Then you're going to want to put describe your item. Now in the describe your item, you're going to want to make sure that you put all the details about the sofa how many people does it so for example in my case it's a sofa so i might put it's a two-seater sofa uh, it's made out of a certain material the material isn't real leather if it was leather it might be synthetic leather you're going to want to put all the defects of the product on there so if there's a chunk missing at the back put there is a small chunk missing at the back or if there's a small stain mark you put there's a small small stain mark on there but you need to be very clear about what the product is on here because now guys you're actually selling this for money so people want to know what they're paying for when they're buying something and they don't with facebook marketplace put it this way people don't want to come to your house and collect something if they feel like it's just going to be a waste of time they're going to get there and they're going to get things that they weren't expecting be very clear and very transparent because trust me it will backfire if you don't then you want to click photos and then you want to select the photos of the ones you've just edited using those two apps either one depending on your device then you're going to click next and when you click next it will just it will just say um, um post in marketplace or continue to post in marketplace but what you can also do is and this is something that i recommend you do is you can also post the listing not just in marketplace but in selling groups as well so facebook have got groups and what you can do is you can join local facebook groups in your area that sell things so for example in my in my, my facebook i've joined a group called talford sales which is my area my town where i live and it's basically a group of like 80,000 people. I'll put a print screen on the screen. And what that group is, is where people sell things in there as well. So you can post it on the marketplace, but then you can also post it in local groups that you're in as well. So that's another good way and another bonus tip for you guys to sell your stuff uh, a lot faster. So that's pretty much 
how to sell on marketplace and that's the best way you're going to want to sell your products i'm also going to give you some other alternative places you can sell these things but marketplace is the best because it's the fastest way um, and it's also completely free you don't have to pay things like ebay and, and and whatnot you have to pay a fee which can eat into your profits of course and because you're starting with no money your profits mean a lot to you so guys i'm actually going to give you some more bonus tips right now because i really want you guys to crush it with this now the first bonus tip is add three keywords to the bottom of your description so when you're writing the descriptions out with the photos in it and whatnot you're going to want to put three different keywords so for example i might have used hashtag sofa i might have used hashtag home decor and i might have used hashtag furniture now you're probably thinking what do these keywords do so when people search in the marketplace for items if you put one of these keywords in your description so let's say somebody goes on the marketplace searches for sofa my listing will come up so that's why you're going to want to use that now you're, going to, you're allowed to use three keywords per listing so that's why i've given you three examples the next thing is you're going to want to add this to the bottom of your description open to sensible offers so that way people know that you're open to offers that means people, more people are going to message you and some people are going to ask you for obviously a lower price so let's say i've listed my sofa for 150 pounds or 150 dollars somebody might message me and say look are you okay with taking 100 pounds i might say yes because i'm thinking that's that's a lot of money anyway i've got it for, i bought it for free and i'm making let's say a 90 pound profit after i paid the fuel that i paid for the van and stuff so what i'm trying to say guys is it, it welcomes more people to kind of interact with you and you can sell it a lot faster so the next thing that you're going to want to add to the bottom of your description is uh first come first serve so because you're making out it's an absolute steal like i did which is 90 percent off luxury sofa when you put that in your description people are gonna think oh my god this could go any minute now so you're gonna get a lot more people not sitting on the fence they're just gonna message you and say look is this available you're not gonna have people that will view your listing and not message you so also put that in there and then you're also gonna want to put at the bottom of the description sold as seen which basically means once they've come to your house or come to meet you to come and collect it then at least when when you put sold as seen it basically means you've sold as what it was seen at so if they ever try and um, tell facebook off about you because you you scammed them because it wasn't what it looked like in person then you can't get into trouble because you've disclaimed that you're saying it was sold as it was seen at the time which basically tells facebook look this person saw the product they knew what they were buying so if they ever try and go to facebook and complain about it they can't the next thing is you're going to want to add those five to ten photos which i mentioned just before now you can list obviously on the marketplace now these are some more bonus tips that you're going to want to know every seven days if your item doesn't sell you can renew the listing so you can just click renew listing um, which i'll show you what that looks like right now so you get an idea of how everything works so guys you can see some of the things that i'm selling at the moment i'm selling my laptop and i'm selling my um my computer and you can see it says there renew listing so every seven days you're allowed to renew the listing which basically means it will get pushed back to the top of the facebook marketplace um post when people search for that product which means you got a higher chance of selling it so every seven days you're allowed to renew the listing now every 14 days if you don't sell something i recommend you drop the price by 20 percent and 20 to 30 percent it's up to you how much you want to drop the price by but the more aggressive you get obviously the more money you're going to make so guys some more bonus tips is try and get people to pay in cash or wire transfer that way if you, somebody pays in cash um it's all your money basically i'm not going to say anything more than that because i don't want to get myself into trouble and then if they do wire transfer then at least they you don't need to pay a fee because sometimes people might say look i'm willing to pay you but only through paypal then obviously you'd have to pay a 2.9 percent transaction for that so it will link into your profit margins um, and with paypal as well you will not receive the money for up to 30 days so if you get it wire transfer in cash you're getting that money straight away and you can start reinvesting it so that's another bonus tip if somebody wants to have the product delivered to them then you can either travel to them you can either say look what's your address i'll drop it off because some people might live let's say 50 50 miles away from you it's not possible for them to come down and collect it so they might say can you deliver so the first thing you should offer is i can come drive down to you and deliver it if that's okay with you because you own a car or you've got a friend that's willing to drop you off um but they have to pay you for fuel money or you can just deliver the item by sending it through a parcel company and the parcel company that i recommend is parcel monkey i use them all the time it's basically a comparison website to find the cheapest delivery option for your item obviously they will have to pay for postage if you're delivering it to them now if anybody says to you look send this item to me i live in a different country don't send it to them because at the end of the day if anybody messages you on facebook marketplace i get this a lot and they live in a different country nine times out of ten it's a scam so just don't do it 
The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that the billing address matches the shipping address. So if you ever send something via post, make sure that the billing address, which is what they paid you for, matches their shipping address. Because if it doesn't, then what they always do is they always uh, will complain to PayPal if they paid through PayPal or they'll complain to Facebook that you didn't authorize anything, which means they'll get the product for free. Because if it's just something with, with online, which is just stupid. If the billing address doesn't match the shipping address, then you can be liable as the seller uh, to give that product away for free so guys be careful always check that because trust me it happens all the time so there's another golden nugget for you the next thing is once the buyer's received your product ask them to give you a review as a seller because at the end of the day the more reviews you get the more chance you've got of selling more things because you look more like a trustable seller so guys i'm actually going to give you 13 alternatives to sell your product so now you've got your product for free you've cleaned it up um you've got it ready to sell now for actual money then these are 13 alternative places you can sell them because if facebook marketplace is a bit slow you're not getting anything from it then you've got all these other alternatives but do bear in mind guys some of these alternatives you do need to pay a fee for selling which you don't actually have to pay them up front they'll take out of what you earn from that product so the first alternative is craigslist the second one is ruby lane three is ebid four is depop Five is sal.com, six is eBlueJ, seven is CoQuote, not eight is Preloved, nine is Adaway, ten is Odil, eleven is eBay, twelve is Spark, and thirteen is Gumtree. Now, some of these are only in the UK, and some of these are only in the States. So, obviously, just go with whichever ones will work for you. Now, they're the best thirteen alternatives to Facebook Marketplace, guys. So, again, it gives you all of that extra room to try and sell your product. So, this maximizes the chances of success because Facebook Marketplace sometimes isn't always the best place to sell on, but it is because obviously it's for free. Now, they are the best thirteen alternatives like i said you may have to pay a small fee so if i sell that sofa for 150 pounds i might have to pay a 30 pound fee or a 20 pound fee that is just an example guys so the next thing is where to go from this now once you've made around about 300 dollars or 300 pounds in profit and you've got 300 pounds obviously this isn't 300 pounds this is just me showing you money but let's say you've got 300 pounds in cash or in your bank ready to reinvest or 300 dollars you want to start getting into the apple buying and reselling market because this is the market that i'm in i do it now and again if i see some real steals i used to do it a lot more but now i do it kind of part time i look now and again if i see a steal i'll go and do it so i'm actually going to show you one of the latest steals that i got and show you the potential of apple buying and reselling because that market is actually insane and i'm going to show you real proof right now guys so guys you can see my screen again and i basically bought this apple ipad pro that was 12.9 inches 250 gig and cellular for 540 pounds now this was in a box this had the seals on it brand new 12 months warranty with apple i don't know why this guy was selling it so cheap sometimes with apple's buying and selling products they will be um, um icloud locked so you'll buy an apple product but they're locked because they're stolen or they're robbed but this guy was legit i actually went to his house and bought it just to make sure that i knew that i wasn't getting scammed because he lived around about 30 minutes away from me but even when i paid for petrol it was still a bargain so i got there absolutely fine it was 540 pounds guys this is worth when i bought it at the time which is around about in december it's now uh, february it was worth around about 1004 pounds it's still worth 1400 pounds if you go onto the apple website and you look for this exact same spec because the new ipad's not come out yet it's worth 1400 pounds or 1400 dollars and i got it brand new guys now if i was to sell it as a quick sale i could sell this easily on facebook for a thousand pounds easily so i would have made around about 460 460 pound profit just like that and i reckon i could have sold that easily within probably around about a week i could have sold that ipad but unfortunately guys i didn't sell it i kept it for myself and um, i'll put a picture of me collecting that item in the car you'll see me have it brand new wrapped um so guys that just shows you the potential of the apple buying and reselling market that quick steal there i could have made easily 460 pounds with the click of a fingers i could have even sold that for 1100 pounds made an extra couple of hundred pounds i could have made easily 560 pounds that is a lot of money now again that just shows you the potential but obviously to be able to do this you need money in hand so that's why i'm saying go through the free version first which is buying free things selling it and then once you've got around about 300 to 500 pounds 300 to 500 dollars you can start getting into the apple buying and reseller market let me know if you want to see a video on that 
I'll be happy to make it. And if we hit 5,000 likes, guys, I will do this whole challenge within the buying things for free and then selling them live so you guys can see it in action. I hope you've enjoyed the content today and let me know if this has been helpful. Thank you.